Good afternoon, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, come on back tomorrow. It's a rainy, rainy day. Look at this. I guess it's not raining at the moment. Mm -hmm. But there's droplets on the window. Alright, it is 2.20 in the afternoon. I still have two more meetings um, and a, f a bunch of more things to do for work before I go to head out. But there is a semi-organized protest today at City Hall again. The guy who I was with like all weekend is actually, I think, heading to this one. Um, it's raining and it's still supposed to potential rain the rest of the evening, but people are saying online they're still going to show up. And so if there's going to be a protest, even in the rain, you guys know Sarah and I don't stop in the rain when we're in the theme park, so we're definitely not going to stop in for the rain when it comes to uh, this important movement. I even talked about it in wor at work today. That was like my thing today, yeah. is my, uh, my other thing. This is what happens when Peter Burkhardt's brain stops working. Just put that little clip in. <laughs> what I said, what I was trying to get at is, I actually talked about everything today at work, like in, in a, a work meeting. In a more uncomfortable yes. like, environment. Yeah, in a more uncomfortable environment is a good way that Sarah just put it. And so what I made a point today was to bring it up to my team and to bring it up to my department. And we have like an internal Facebook that I posted about and posted the, the Orlando community bond fund link to and I even posted a little bit about it on LinkedIn which I have been posting a little bit about um, there but it's still like another level of uncomfort like discomfort was it the word you used uncomfort yeah. discomfort for me but it's like this is not it needs to be discussed in all aspects of life so I that was like I challenged myself today after talking to one of my friends yesterday about needing the the protests are, are mighty and great but conversation needs to continue and to me because I talk about everything all the time I needed to be able to break down the barrier of being able to talk about this at work even if I'm uncomfortable or still learning yeah. so that's what I did respectfully so Peter is finishing up his last meetings of the day before we go ahead and drive I'm going to drop him off at the protests again um, we're gonna stop by Publix because we still have not gone grocery shopping. So we're just gonna get some simple sandwich stuff for the time being. Um, but what I've been doing the past just like, I don't know, 10-20 minutes is crafting an email template that I'm going to share with all of you that you can use to talk to your local officials, like specifically your mayor. Um, and it is regarding the active use of force that the police department in your local neighborhood village wherever you live uses and to request a review of it and to also talk about reform of it i will leave that like a link to a pdf in the description of this video and then you can just simply copy and paste it put in your city's name um, your mayor's name and sign it off and send it um, again just like something simple like something like that we can do as a tool to help and I hope that you'll use it and I hope that you'll send it all right my work day is done and I am pumped because even though it's raining and it's supposed to continue to rain until later um, I've already seen the photos of a crowd over at City Hall so um, curfew still 8 p.m for the do like downtown location, so I'm gonna head out now. Sarah's gonna drive me. We're gonna stop actually at Publix to pick up peanut butter to eat bread oh, to make. Said that. Oh, double vlog! I do. How many of you think you would absolutely actually think Sarah and I are annoying in real life? I wanna. <laughs> well, maybe you already do. I wanna honestly think, or I mean, I, if you're watching these, I think that you don't think we're annoying in in vlog life. But do you think we're annoying in real life? What do you think? Like, I don't know. Can I get some people who actually know us to comment down below and say how on a scale of, um, on a scale of, Michael Scott. no, I was going to use it. I was going to use an office thing on a scale of, Kelly. no, I found who I wanted to think of on a scale from Oscar to Michael Scott. How annoying do you think we are in real life? We got our goods. I'm going to make up some sandwiches. Sarah driving again, woo woo! <laughs> Even less police presence today, but I think there's a larger crowd, but from what I saw online, it was more like speeches were being given right now. 
So that's cool. Ooh, the Grand Bohemian boarded their building up. Well, look at this. They don't even have the intersection blocked off. But the City Hall area looks packed. Every day is something different. I love it. leadership back in charge of this protest here and it's way bigger than I expected which is awesome for it not being like super planned on a Thursday and rainy that just shows you the importance of what's going on we are peaceful we are peaceful we are peaceful, we are peaceful. I am satisfied that each and every one of you here have an abiding interest to bring about fundamental change in the systemic problems we have in this country. Everybody united and nobody's, you know, you're not in competition with each other. You all matter. You all matter. You deserve to graduate. You deserve to get married. You deserve to walk down the aisle. You deserve for you to have grandkids and children. You deserve that. You don't deserve to be killed at the age of 15 and 16 and then to just be murdered in the street like you're trash. You don't deserve that. Not all cops are bad. Not all cops are bad. My son is six years old. I'm out here representing him. You turn on, you type in who is my representative. You look, you figure out what district you're in. You're in District 10 or 7 if you're right here right now. Go to who is my representative. We have to make change, but you need to know who to contact. That's right. Louis got here. I love all of you. This is about peace, but this is about change. This is about black lives and black economics. Everybody using your voice. We appreciate y'all. Each one of you are beautiful. You have a voice. You matter. Majority of. The protesters have left with 15 minutes left in curfew. All right, I'm home. I made it home safe. Sarah picked me up um, right about at curfew. I made it a few minutes out of curfew. Um, but I'm going to be honest, the cops weren't near my side of the curfew, curfew barrier that I was walking towards. I think they were more towards Amway Center. And you're also privileged. And I was by myself and I'm a white male. But I'm home. Um, I really enjoyed today. And I was, I've been trying to be really thoughtful of how we're vlogging this because we don't want to vlog people's faces, but we don't want it to be vlogs of just entirety of marches and protests. And that, but today there was so much, there was so much love. There was, I didn't even tell you this one, this moment, Sarah. There was a 16 year old from Dr. Phillips High who gave her story of her story of police brutality and why she's out there. And there was like, we were started at City Hall, did a march, came back to City Hall. When we were first at City Hall, there were speeches about legislation how to get involved in your local districts and leadership in that way because that's where real change begins not at the federal level like the president it starts you know the best results happen from starting at that local level within even your own district not just your state but then of course your state then your federal government um, but then we did the march um, came back to City Hall and for like the last almost two whole hours before curfew and I was only out for like three it was more like two uh, hour and a half there was speech after speech after speech there was a 16 year old who spoke, there was like a 65 year old man who spoke. So it was really diverse, really different stories, all about love, all about um, people grieving their fears of, as living a life as a black person in this day and age. Um, another woman talked about how she spent all, like last Friday crying because she called her nieces and nephews, or her sister to talk to her nieces and nephews and that's what they were doing and her sister was in a bad mood because she had to explain to her nieces and nephews about why they couldn't go play outside and to, to teach them about the fears of discrimination. Um, and that's just something that like Sarah and I will never have to personally experience. We will make sure our children know of that. But it was just, it was just like a really good energy and good vibe today in the, in the 
it's that's what I'm glad to see the the protest turn into because protesting is is needed very much so but a plan of action is needed to follow that but I think we're gonna watch a movie right I'm home it's 8 30 tomorrow's Friday it's the weekend and Eve is growling at my uh, hummus that I have so we just finished 13th. We had started it last night, but had not finished. Um, and highly recommend if you have Netflix to go and watch and just listen to all the facts. Now we're going to do something that we have not done. Are we going to? What time? I'm game. It's all, it's 10. Okay. Um, we're going to go back to our Marvel movie marathon. And then Wasp? Mm-hmm. Booyah. Well, we are stopped in our tracks. It says coming soon to Disney Plus due to existing agreements. I can read that kind Yay. of. This title will be available on August 14th. So we did not find a way to watch the movie, and instead, for once, we decided to just go to sleep. I think it's before 11, if not right around 11. So here's the daily message. June 4th. Some cause happiness wherever they go, others whenever they go. <laughs> Oscar Wilde. <laughs> that one is good. She's straight up in my spot. Yeah. She was just. Here, oh I, my gosh. So I'm up. covered. I didn't even it. Oh gosh. She had like her paws like that. Tomorrow's Friday, and I can't wait for the weekend. Yes, just more time in the day. Yeah, because like because of me going out like right at right when work ends, and basically being out until like we come home and like either watch TV or go to bed. Mm -hmm. Like Sarah and I actually haven't spent too much time together this week. Yeah, and it's weird. <laughs> and like we're still gonna be doing things this weekend, like protests and marches or calls or whatever. Um, but we'll have more time in the day to be together before and after because I won't be working. Right. Thanks for coming along for another day. We didn't end up watching any Marvel movie or nothing. I said that. Oh, oh twice today. It's good to be home. <laughs> it's good to be home.